Good morning, happy vlog week 28! Ah, 28 weeks of vlogging, I feel like that's a really special number. So today is Monday and I've literally been doing so many chores around the house. My hair is up in a bun. I've literally got a face mask on at the moment. Hence why I look hella shiny. But I've literally been talking to my mortgage broker back and forth. And this whole house buying process, guys, is such a nightmare. Especially because of what's happening in the economy at the moment. People are currently on furlough where they're getting money from the government. I was talking to my mortgage broker and he was saying, like, if you can, it might be even worse worth waiting until later on in the year just so that you know a bit more about their economic status and what's happening in the world you know like I would hate to put down like a deposit on a house that's being built off plan and then the second wave of the coronavirus hits and then they can no longer build anymore so yeah that's the current situation I'm in now I'm still gonna carry on looking at houses but he did say to me that he's noticed that there's less on the market at the moment because a lot of people don't want to sell their house because because they don't know what's happening with the world and stuff like that. It's just so crazy how the virus has just affected everything. Like in every aspect of your life, the coronavirus has affected it. Today is the day that Gran is finally getting a haircut. Finally! <gasps> Hit them! Hooray! Everyone take a wild look at this. This is the only time in history you probably will ever see Gran like this. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, look at 360 of you. Hello there. Okay, real bad. You haven't had a haircut since before your birthday, which was in February, guys. Yeah. And now he's literally looking like Asian Justin Bieber. He looks like he's in a Korean boy band, a part of BTS. I wish, guys. Look at this, guys. My hands can fully rake in and like, pull it and add some tape and hair extensions. He's gonna come back looking 25 years younger. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> so Gwang has buggered off to go get his hair cut. So I'm looking forward to seeing him with shorter hair, guys. Every time I look at Rizzi, I'm just like, oh my God, you literally look like my uncle from Vietnam. So you guys see I look a bit crazy right now. I'm in the process of doing my heatless waves. <laughs> Oh yeah, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Today is actually a really exciting day. I actually have a Zoom meeting with YouTube. I know, how crazy is that? YouTube is notoriously the hardest platform to get in contact with. And I managed to find a little contact and she asked me if I wanted to arrange a phone call. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. So I literally have a Zoom call in an hour. So I'm gonna try to prep for that. I actually want to give you a little update because a couple of vlogs ago I was telling you guys how much I actually earned from a YouTube video and I also gave you some tips about how to support your favorite influencers I don't know if you guys follow me on my other social platforms but I hardly actually do any ads on my channel just because I'm so picky about what ads I need to do but your girl needs to buy a house you know at the end of the day it's my job and I need to start monetizing this I don't know I'm just the world's worst person at doing stuff like this because I'm not a very business minded person if I really wanted to I can just go out and buy eyelashes and glitters and just slap my name on it and make a quick buck to me my integrity and my name means so much to me and if I'm completely honest guys I turn down so many things that I should probably accept because I need the money at the end of the day I pay for everything in this house I pay for my mum the groceries me and Gwang so the other day I looked into my finances and stuff and even though I am doing well I definitely have seen a dip in my numbers and you know this whole covid situation has stopped everyone from making their coin and you guys have also been really really helping out by watching the ads recently i've been seeing a lot of my comments like i watched the ads for you and some of you guys even told me that you watched a seven minute ad for me and i'm like what i would have pressed skip a long time ago girl but thank you so much it's so 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 appreciated and it's really really been helping so i'm going to show you some of my stats it ain't the biggest of change, like I ain't gonna go and buy like a Tesla from this, but it's definitely been helping. So the last time I showed you guys my misguided clothing haul and that one I made like $17 or something from it. So I'm gonna show you the next haul that I've done. So now look, I've made $77 from this one and I've got less views. That means that you guys have been watching the ad so much more, which I'm so appreciative of. So this was the video that I told you guys how much money I make on YouTube. And then also, I don't know why my tutorials haven't been doing the best lately. I don't know if you guys are bored of my tutorials now, but even this one has 14,000 views. It has made $33. I think that's like double what I made on the misguided haul, even though 
it has way less views so thank you so much guys i feel like we're just a little community helping each other out and just by you watching the ads it really really does help so yeah guys i just want to update you guys on the stats and stuff i know seeing numbers always really really helps people out because i'm such a visual person so when you actually see the difference you're like oh it's a little bit encouraging you know oh damn who this new hey. new oh, hair who's haircut. this let me see the sides Oh my god, I can feel the neck again. The neck is fresh. The neck is nice and slappable. Stop, stupid idiot. Who's ready for a tweet TMI once again? I literally just pissed myself. This is so embarrassing. Why am I telling YouTube this? I have cystitis once again. If you guys don't know what cystitis is, it's a urinary tract infection. I'm actually really, really prone to this. When I used to work at MAC, oh my God, it used to be so bad because I used to do people's makeup and then I'll literally need to do a piss right now, like can't hold it in and I'll have to run all the way downstairs and like literally pull down my pants and piss on the floor basically because I just can't pull my pants down fast enough. I don't know what is up down there. Is my pee hole really close? to my JJ hole. It normally happens when I wear certain types of underwear, like thongs, if they're too tight. Also happens if you have a lot of sex time, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I was literally just filming a YouTube video. I literally had to sit like this throughout the video because I was dying to go for a wee, but I was also on a roll filming my YouTube video as well. As soon as the video was over, I literally ran to the toilet, which is literally only next door. And because I'm wearing a jumpsuit as well, I just wasn't quick enough and I ended up peeing just a little bit on the floor. So bad, like so, so bad, why, why? Recently, I have been noticing that I'm getting like a sharp pain. Does anyone know what organ is down here? Because if that's my kidney, then I'm in a lot of trouble. So at least just finished filming and I wanted to update you guys on my YouTube call that I had a bit earlier. It was actually really, really helpful. I had a shit ton of questions, you know, me being me and being a Gemini. I'm always so inquisitive and I'm always asking a hundred and million one questions. If there's anything that can help you out, anything that can help me out, I am more than willing to share my knowledge, you know? So the lady was looking through my YouTube videos and she was saying, something that I should try to focus on on my YouTube channel is to make my watch time go up and I'm just like oh, why so you should always try to aim for at least 50% watch time and people are only watching about 30% of my videos and then clicking off which I'm just like no why please stay like the bloopers are so amazing at the end aren't they or they're too cringy i don't know it does make me feel really really sad guys i don't know i feel like i try so hard on youtube the comments are always so nice you guys say that you love my videos you know the stats don't lie i'm obviously doing something wrong so she did say that i should try to make my videos a bit shorter sometimes they can be a bit on the long side and when she was looking through my video stats she said that people click off in these kind of areas so i need to go back and watch back my videos and see when people get bored and don't include stuff like that. She actually pointed out one of the videos that didn't do as well for me was my Chef Twee video when I'll show you guys how to cook. So I was like, okay. I need to take that as a sign that no one wants to see your girl cook these basic meals, okay? That's something that I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna try to make my videos a bit shorter, a bit more to the point, a bit more snappy. I guess I'm just one of those YouTubers that people don't like hearing go on and on and on which i can totally relate you know i watch so many youtube videos myself i watch youtube every single day and there are some videos that i'm just like oh girl you could have totally edited that out so obviously any criticism from someone that works at youtube i'm gonna totally take on board another thing that she told me that i need to do is improve my click through rate so that means that um i need to tell you guys to turn on your notification bells <laughs> i know a lot of you guys have actually been watching all my ads and all that and she actually says that's really really been helping so way to go guys thank you so much for supporting me but if you can also turn on your notification bells because it basically helps youtube know that when you see my videos you click through it right away i had no idea that youtube tracks all of that whenever you see my videos pop up it would be amazing if you click that because that increases my click through rate so if you are out there doing youtube videos we need to basically focus on your title and your thumbnail they are the most important things 
to focus on apparently also something that was really interesting is you know those eye cards that i kind of dot all over the youtube videos point you guys to another video that has actually been hindering me i had no idea basically if they click off that video that means that my video has less views before i used to put on loads of these eye cards at the top and i basically kind of shot myself in the foot because people would click off and they'll go to a different video so yeah a little bit annoying um now i'm just going to be putting the links right at the end of the video or in my description box but yeah i want to be super super honest super open if it can help anyone else out there that's trying to do this whole youtube thing with me let's do this together if you guys find anything that works really well for you i would love it if you commented down below and we can you know rise to the top together you know sometimes i feel like i need to be more controversial i need to drop names i need to do really really clickbaity titles to get the views and it's just really frustrating you know why can't i just do these little vlogs and do makeup videos it's just so frustrating because for my subscriber count versus my views it just doesn't match so yeah i don't know i need to like figure out this whole youtube game i've been doing it for three years already and i thought that i kind of like found my little niche on here but yeah i guess i just have to keep going right guys you know have a little moan have a little cry about it just remember that you cannot give up you just have to keep going i always say it just takes that one video to blow up and then it has a knock-on effect to all your other videos that's what happened to my tiktok so i'm really hoping that i get a little break on youtube i am on instagram live and look how beautiful her eyebrows are shout out your username if you're doing instagram or youtube um, it's underscore x glam by e x underscore yes girl give her a little follow guys hello good morning guys mm -hmm, i feel so run down today and i don't know why i've got like the worst headache of history i feel the blood vessels throbbing like this and then i literally felt so cold and i had a shower to make me feel a little bit better and i honestly felt like i could have fell asleep inside of the bathtub look at me i look so ill this camera is so heavy right now but i was trying to edit today's video and oh my god i literally just kept seeing like little stars little black dots while i was editing i think this week i'm just gonna have to skip a week on a wednesday oh i feel so guilty even saying that out loud i'm like oh i literally tried to edit for like 20 minutes straight and my eyes were just like this just like flapping like what i can see is just a little bit of like sunlight coming through you know yesterday when i told you that i had cystitis this has actually happened to me before where i felt really hot and then really cold and i end up going to hospital for four days so i feel like i can't overwork myself because i do not want to be back in that same position at the hospital especially with this going on in the world right now yeah i'm so sorry guys i couldn't get a video up this week oh god i can't even keep my eyes open hopefully it's nothing really really serious maybe i just need to have a nap and sleep it off pray for me guys hello guys oh my god so the last couple of days i've literally had the worst headache i've ever had in my life i don't ever really get ill but when i am ill it's like knocks me off for six is that a saying i don't know i feel so bad because i have told guang to go out to the shops like every single day for me he's been running around to get me medicine going to get me food i literally had all the symptoms of a migraine which is where your head feels like it's pumping like this it's like pulsating and it's coming from one side of your head this bit here honestly i could put my finger there and i could feel like my side of my head thumping like this um, a couple of years ago i actually had to go to the hospital because i had a really, really bad uti i told you guys i'm super prone to them and it ended up being like i think a blood infection or it got really really bad where i had to be pumped with loads of ivs because i was so dehydrated and you know with everything going on at the moment the last place that i want to go to is to the hospital i have all of my medicine here i never ever take any tablets or pills so when i take this it just makes me feel so scared what if i'm mixing things that i shouldn't be mixing what if i'm taking too much so i end up taking half the dose but then the medication's not working because i'm not taking the proper dosage so i did call up my doctors and i had like an appointment over the phone and they prescribed me some um, antibiotic so i'm taking that at the moment but some of the symptoms that i have is massive headache guys like when i tell you headache it's like a headache upon a headache i've also been so thirsty so dehydrated i literally tell grad to refill this up like eight times a day honestly i also have a loss of appetite as well like i don't know whenever i'm ill anyways i don't ever get hungry and then it kind of goes against me because then i feel really really weak but anytime grand cooks me food or anytime grand 
friends buys me anything i literally have like two bites and i'm like i don't want to eat no more i wish i could carry that on in my normal life because normally i'm like picking at everything shoving everything down my throat oh my god i also have so many chills i go from being so cold like my teeth are chattering i've got goosebumps all over my body and then literally 20 minutes later i'm so hot i'm sweating also guys i know this sounds really really weird but i'm actually sleeping in my mum's room do you know when you're feeling really really sick all you want is just your mum like i just want my mum's food this uh, little single bed and it still smells like her as well so it makes me feel a bit better yeah guys i'm just feeling really sad we're feeling really sorry for myself yesterday i was crying just felt so like useless you know i just had so many things to do and i just felt like whatever gran was doing was not good enough <laughs> i told him to buy me paracetamol but don't buy me anything with caffeine in it because i was having those heart palpitations and then he came home with this paracetamol and caffeine i literally wanted to wring his neck men men hello oh my god i'm feeling so much better today guys honestly the last couple of days has been a bit touch and go and isn't it so crazy like when you're feeling ill everything is like so dark and gloomy i don't know what happened today but i literally woke up my eyes went ding even though I was dripping in sweat, I literally got up and I was like, I just need to take a good shower. When I was scrubbing my hair, the water was literally black. <laughs> Not cute at all. I'm so sorry there was no video on Wednesday. Oh my God, guys. You have no idea how guilty I felt when I was laying in bed, like just watching Netflix, feeling so sorry for myself. And I just felt so guilty guilty for not uploading a video i don't think i've skipped a youtube video in like over a year like it's so crazy i've been super super consistent on this platform i've actually had this problem before i'm super super prone to utis when the infection gets a bit too crazy i get hot flashes i get really bad headaches i get super dehydrated so this literally felt like deja vu but yeah i woke up feeling a lot better today Thank the Lord. It's literally just so crazy how everything is like in HD now. I'm like, wow, everything's so bright and airy. That's it for this week's vlog, guys. I'm so sorry. It was so uneventful. I literally done nothing this week except for laying in my bed, doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> next week, I actually have a couple of viewings and we also have my sister's birthday next week as well. So make sure you are subscribed for that. Turn on notification bells because it really, really does help me out. Remember what that YouTube lady said, help your sister out. And that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. I look crazy right now. Hello, testicles. I don't know if you guys are following me on my other social platforms, but I... The world is collapsing around me. It does make me feel a little bit sad and inaccurate. Inadequate. Inadequate. Is that the word? I don't know, I'm dumb! Inadequate. That is the fucking word. I feel inadequate doing YouTube. There's my smart hat. <laughs> Look at these. Atrocious, honestly. Oh, somebody help me. Apparently the nail salons are opened from tomorrow. Someone get me to Sammy Stat. Also, this is what happens when you're out for the count for a couple of days. Literally so many PR packages stacked up. Look at this, mess everywhere. The mango is moldy. It's been sitting here for like three days. I need to get my shit together.